dear viewers assalamu alaikum the topic under discussion is our environment the very important topic an essay which is written by frank s scarpity he talks about an environment environment which is made up of land air and water frank escarpity shows serious concern about the environment which is composed of land air and water he in fact impresses upon the reader the importance of environment he says that environment is an integral part of man's life because man cannot survive without land he cannot survive without air he cannot survive without water and only healthy and unpolluted environment has a good effect on human beings as well as on all other living creatures on the face of this earth so the he means to say he advises the readers that they should take great care of their environment if the society does not respond to the question of environment then it will perish with the passage of time so without a healthy atmosphere our life will be totally crippled and industrial growth it will pollute the environment making people sick so in the coming 100 years the world will be totally uh, changed a world packed with only poisonous elements and pollution so life will be unhealthy starting with the first paragraph our environment frank s scarpity says that the earth water and air once taken for granted as a sort of cynic backdrop for the human drama have all become areas of intense discussion and worry he has clearly told in the very first line that we have taken our earth air and water for granted we have underestimated it and he says a sort of cynic backdrop very beautiful scenery for the human drama mankind is playing its role on the stage and land air and water are freely used for this play for this drama and it has now become in the present age these things this matter this uh, problem has become intense discussion as area of matter of intense discussion and worry mankind is worried now once he has underestimated the very important things like land air and water now he has become worried his life has become difficult uh, very uh, worrisome in the 1950s only a few alert scientists were predicting our present despair over what mankind is doing to the earth in 1950s few scientists were predicting our this future or this present age they knew what would happen to mankind if they continue to misuse land air and water they predicted our present future in 1950s at that time resources seemed unlimited the air was fresh and clean and rivers and oceans were seen as elements to be harnessed for power and used to dispose of waste then with the passage of time in the past these resources were unlimited people had not missed use misused them 
but with the passage of time they started misusing land they started misusing air and water to dispose of their wastes only he says that to be harnessed for power to be used for power and to to uh, they brought this these resources under his under their control and used to dispose of waste only but in a relatively short time we have seen the threat of a shift in the balance of nature away from its cycle of use and renewal to one of abuse decay and if are not if we are not careful gradual collapse now he does not hesitate frank escarpity does not hesitate to say that if we are not careful because we have shifted we have disturbed the balance of nature and time is not far that we are going towards gradual collapse there will be totally downfall of human beings if they don't become careful at present so in the first paragraph writer is serious about his environment and he says that he blames man that he has used land air and water for his own selfish purposes for his own selfish motives he has misused land misused land air and water and now with the passage of time he says that he has disturbed the natural balance of cycle and if we are not careful we are going towards collapse total failure in the second paragraph he comes to another point and says that our environment is now a social problem not just a problem for the sciences he says that no, it is not the matter of concern for the scientists only every other man living on the face of this earth is worried now he is facing environmental problems so this environment has become a social problem a problem of every other common man living in this on the face of this earth with huge increases in air water and land pollution in the past quarter century the world we now live in poses problems of health and welfare for a large portion of the population now we are polluting our land we are polluting our air we are polluting our water and it has and we have uh, exposed ourselves to the problems of health and welfare the large population of the earth is facing dangers dangers threats which environment is giving to us now he says that a dirty lake for example he gives an example that not only a portion of population is worried but the whole larger portion of population is in trouble due to dirty environment and he gives the example that a dirty lake or river not only affects those who live near it but it also affects the entire ecosphere ecosphere part of the land where life can exist ecosphere ecosphere is the part of the earth in which life can exist he says that it has disturbed the whole ecosphere ecosphere is the part of part of land where life can exist so a dirty land uh, so a dirty land he says that a dirty river or a dirty lake not only affects those who live near it but it also affects the whole entire ecosphere whole ecosphere nature's rhythms rhythms variations variations of nature rhythms variations so he says that 
it also affects nature's rhythms and cycles it is r h y nature rhythms and cycles and the future functioning of man so a threatened environment like a weak house close to crumbling so this threatened environment it is like a weak house which is close to fall down puts man in a precarious position precarious position puts him in a dangerous position the more he produces goods that do not fit into nature's cycle like for example he gives an example of ddt that is organic chloride for in insecticidal properties ddt the more he pollutes and thus undermines his own health and well being he says that if man disturbs natural cycle he is going to pollute the environment more and as a result he underestimates he undermines he uh, he puts his own health he puts his own well being at risk so in the in the second paragraph he says that this environment is a social problem not just the problem for the scientists why because every other man living on the face of this earth is being affected by the polluted environment and he gives the example of the dirty lake or river which do not affect only those who live close to it but the whole ecosphere nature's rhythms and cycles and the future functioning of man now he says that this weak environment is like a crumbling house which is close to fall down and then for example he says that the more if we produce, if man produces more goods that do not fit into nature's cycle for example ddt ddt is a uh, order less crystalline taste less um, organic chlor uh, chloride known for its insecticidal properties so the more he pollutes the environment and put his own well being his own health at risk coming to the third paragraph he comes to another important thing that is biologists refer to the intricate web of relationships between all living things and the physical environment they share as the ecosystem the very important thing what is an ecosystem and he gives its definition ecosystem he says that the relationship between all living things and their environment is called an ecosystem the relationship between all living things and their environment is called an ecosystem and then he goes on to explain it that it has been shown that each living part plays a role in this ecosystem there is a food chain in which organisms that produce their own food using the sun's energy like green plants they are eaten by small animals which in turn are eaten by large animals so technology chain is close to bacteria and fungi which decompose the wastes and eventually the dead bodies of all living things returning useful nutrients for the use of the original producers or plants he means to say that plants produce their food there is a cycle there is a chain in which plants produce their food they are eaten by animals small animals these small animals are eaten by other large animals and then bacteria and fungi they also play their role they release important nutrients from these dead bodies in this way balance of nature is maintained in ecosystem the balance of nature is maintained automatically 
if we do not disturb any part of this chain if we change one component in the chain then other components are also affected so it is a natural chain it's a cycle and if we disturb one part of the cycle the other parts will automatically be disturbed so he says that each element necessary for life such as carbon nitrogen and phosphorus goes through cycles of use and reuse naturally although at certain periods in the cycle if the element is not available for use it eventually re-enters the cycle so in nature it just goes on and on without any disturbance if no one interferes from outside it goes all this cycle goes smoothly populations of all animals in the ecosystem are adjusted through natural forces like such as disease and predation then there is a disease then there is predation that is uh, hunt prey animals are they are uh, hunt hunted by uh, the hunters then they suffer with diseases they naturally die then to a size in keeping with the food supplies the environment can provide they automatically survive in natural environment everything survives decays survives use reuse according to nature without any disturbance now in this paragraph he shows us he tells us about the ecosystem what is an ecosystem and he says the relationship between all living things and their environment is called an ecosystem and in this ecosystem everything goes and goes on naturally without any disturbance but if for example green plants prepare their food they are eaten by small animals then they are eaten by large animals so it goes on and on and then it goes through the process of use and reuse cycle and recycle and then he says that if anyone disturbs any one part of the ecosystem it automatically disturbs the whole chain a change in any part of the delicately functioning ecosystem carries widespread and often unexpected repercussions repercussions results now the writer gives us the an example that if we change any part of this ecosystem definitely we have to face large repercussions we have to face bitter consequences and then he gives an example an illustration an example of hippopotami he says that an illustration can be seen in the outcome of the campaign waged in south africa against the hippopotami that used to graze on agricultural land along the river banks now people were worried with the movements of hippopotami on the river banks they they destroyed their fields by their movements heavy movements in the fields they used to destroy their agricultural lands and people were worried they started a campaign to kill hippopotami to cut short their population now what happened the hippo population was successfully reduced but new problems set in he says that they killed the hippopotami but what happened new problems arose and what were the problems it turned out that the movement of the hippos through the river kept the channels open and without them the rivers silted up and then overflowed their banks they reduced the population of hippos who used to graze on their agricultural lands and used to destroy them people started a campaign against the hippopotami they successfully reduced the population of hippos but what happened the movement of the hippos through the rivers kept the channels open and without them when they were finished what happened 
the rivers silted up they were filled with sand and over water overflowed their banks causing floods the floods damaged their crops and homes moreover the resulting stagnant pool pools permitted a huge increase in the population of water snails which served as hosts for one stage of the life cycle of a parasite that causes the sometimes fatal disease that is cystosomiasis cystosomiasis was parasitic disease like parasite blood flukes it caused virus that is that was a dangerous parasitical disease so the net result of the attempt to stop the hippos grazing was a shortage of food and a disease epidemic they disturbed one part of the nature cycle that is hippos what happened it resulted in disease epidemic and shortage of food so they faced serious repercussions when this disturbed one part of the nature cycle they faced serious results it resulted in disease epidemic and shortage of food in south africa now he says that the damage to our environment and the harm it can bring to human and animal life from any judicial judicious alteration of the ecosystem are obvious when man does injustice to his environment definitely the results are always obvious and clear an ecosystem that took billions of years of evolution to establish now he says that this ecosystem took billions of years to establish for mankind and life existed here life became possible in this ecosystem areas devastated by one or more problems now areas which were destroyed with one problem or the other and then he gives the example of los angeles with its smog los angeles with its smog that is smoke and uh, chemical uh, you know uh, chemical wastes west virginia with its strip mining they started huge digging to explore minerals and they faced its serious results they are trying to correct the problem now because they have faced serious problems by disturbing natural cycle los angeles with its smog they started facing huge smog and the west virginia with its strip mining they started huge digging they are now trying to correct the problem other areas not yet polluted are taking measures to ensure that the quality of their water air and land is not degraded although they should make development but within limits not at the cost of their land air and water yet often it has taken either government or private spokesman to point out the dangers so they have taken the help of their government and their representatives to point out one by one the dangers of environment many communities were unaware of the threat until the late 1960s when in many cases the problem had reached an almost irreversible point and he says that many communities they just went on exploiting land air and water till 1960 when in many cases the problem had reached to almost irreversible point the point from where one cannot reverse so he says that the question before our society after giving so many examples after telling us the importance of ecosystem telling us the importance of land land air and water then ecosystem and telling us that if we disturb one part of the ecosystem it automatically disturbs destroys the other chain 
Now, writer comes to a question. He turns to the reader and says that the question before our society based on a new and growing perception of the effects of human pollution of the environment is both elementary and monumental. He says that now there is a question before us and question is of serious nature. This question is elementary. It is it, it has its significance. And what is the question? Will we pay for the cleanup of rivers, oceans, the landscape and the air? He says that whatever we have done to land, air and water, shall we pay for it as punishment? In order to correct the problems, shall we pay? We have to pay for it. Can we simply pay a cash? Or must we give up some of our now taken for granted machines and luxuries? He says that in what form will, if we have to pay for all this loss, in what form shall we pay? Shall we pay a cash? Or we have to leave all our luxuries, all these machines which have made our lives comfortable, but at the same time have put our lives to risk. Man is in a fix. How to correct it now? Man is in a serious problem. And he thinks how? How to correct the problem which they themselves pose. The scope of the environmental problems has been well established. He says the question is what can the citizens do about helping to ease the burden? This is very important paragraph. The writer directs the attention of the readers towards the solution of this problem. He says that we should take up this problem seriously. He says that how we should help the government 